Hey YouTube, this is Jerry here. The missus just got me a little early as day. Nope. Hey YouTube, this is Jerry here. The missus just got me an early Father's Day gift and I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts that I got for it. Check this out. So right before the pandemic broke out, my wife and I bought a new house. Big enough for the new combined family. It was great, had everything except for garage. I didn't like that, but what it did have was this really cool shed workshop kind of thing. So the agreement was that I would take it, make it my motorcycle tool workbench kind of home area. Uh, so when we, after we moved in and did a bunch of normal home projects, I started to add storage out here make nice room for the bike, added this little workbench here. Um, it was feeling pretty good. My wife decided to surprise me with this. Bam! It is a Craftsman 1000 series. It's one of the ball bearing tool chest combos. Um, to be honest with you, if I was buying something, I probably would have bought bigger and something that I really didn't need. So this is a pretty good deal for me. Um, I like it. The top chest works great. Drawers seem to roll pretty good. Don't have a lot in here yet, actually. I just got some silicone lubricant from the drill down the bottom. Uh, again, the top chest works great. Nice and smooth. I put the little padding in there, ready to go. The bottom part is nice and sturdy. Rolls a little easy when you open the rolls a little easy. It rolls like a pain in the butt sometimes when you open the drawers. You need to get it kind of secured to where it's at. Everything seems to move nice. When I bought it and started putting it together, uh, I removed all the drawers and added grease to the ball bearings. They had none. It was very difficult to open. Uh, I don't know why they wouldn't put grease on it when they ship it. Uh, if anything, it would help with corrosion or if something sat around. Um, again, getting back to this chest piece, uh, it's kind of flimsy. I'm a little disappointed. Like it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it has like a dent, a small dent on the side. Some of the metal folds aren't folded well. Uh, to get this bottom drawer to work, I had to take a little uh, action with my old rubber mallet, push it to the side. Uh, but it works good. Really, the only clumsy part is this drawer. Or I don't even know if this is a drawer. This is a storage bin kind of thing. Uh, I, I don't know. But I keep it folded up for now. Um, it's nice. I like it. Uh, can't wait to start putting stuff in it. Tool-wise, I have a lot of tools. Uh, like home tools. But look, here's the problem. Right here. Why won't this go back in? Why do you gotta fight me, craftsman? Uh, my tools. Uh, some of the things I have are in bins like this. This is also for my sockets. They're all labeled if I wanna go someplace. Just have my drawer here. Uh, I don't think I would move stuff like that into there. Then I have this drawer of just miscellaneous stuff. I don't even know. It's just stuff. Uh, I'll move into that. Um, got some stuff hanging up on the wall, wrenches, T-handles, things like that. All kinds of tools. I guess I'll move into there. Um, then I just maybe need to start looking for another project. The old NC really doesn't need anything else. Uh, once I put the luggage, the shock, I mean, it, it's good. I guess that's the worst part of owning the hot. That's about the end of this for me. Uh, it's kind of early here. I'm gonna start getting hot. Hope my fan's not too loud. Can you guys hear my cicadas? I don't know if you can hear them or not. I hate riding with those things. They're that big and when they hit, they hurt. So I've been trying to find other things to keep busy. So everybody, ride safe out there, be kind to each other. And I'll see you next time on my Boring Life channel. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I won't go with that. Hey, everybody. That's it for me. Ride safe out there. Be kind. And uh, see you on the flippity flop. The hippity hop. Whatever you kids are saying these days.
Peace.